Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today we're gonna to look at regression lines on the TI-84 calculator. This could be for a pre-calc, calc class, IV math class, a lot of applications of this. We're gonna run three different regressions, linear, exponential, and quadratic. Figure out which regression is the best fit by looking at our R-squared value. And we're gonna be working with this set of data right here, temperature and ice cream sales. So the very first thing you do on these TI calculators when you're gonna do regressions and look for R values is this button down here, the catalog button, the blue one above zero. So I go second catalog and then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to make sure my diagnostics are on and that's what's gonna give me my R squared value. So down here, diagnostics on, the arrow's pointing to it, I hit enter. Do you wanna turn them on? Yes, enter again, done. And then I'll hit clear and quit out of that mode. So temperature is going to be my independent variable. I pick temp and then sales depends on temp. So temp is going to be my X value and ice cream sales my Y value. I could draw this out as a scatter plot on a piece of paper or I could do that same scatter plot right here on my calculator. So I'm going to go to stat. I want to edit my list, so I hit enter. I scroll to the top, and I hit clear, and that's going to clear the whole list. And now I'm going to enter my values, 25, enter, 30, enter, 22, enter, 35, enter, 28, 18, 32, 20, 38, and 26. And now I have my data in there. I'll go over to list two and do the exact same thing. I've already done that, save a little bit of time here. So now I have my X values in list one and my Y values in list two. I double check that there is a corresponding value for all of them. After I've done that, I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna go back to stat. So I hit that stat key and now I'm running a calculation on it. So I scroll over to calc first thing I'm going to do is run a linear regression. So there's linear regression. It gives me a general equation. I hit X list is list one. That's my X value. That's correct. Y list is list two. That's good. Nothing there, nothing there. And then calculate and then I hit enter. It gives me a general equation for a linear function, a specific equation, and a R square value. So R square for linear is 0.994. I want to keep track of my significant digits pretty closely here. Uh, and I'm not going to write my equation down yet. Okay, so then I'm going to go back to my calculator. I'm going to go back to stat. I'm going to run a second calculation. The second calculation is going to be an exponential regression. It's zero on the menu. I hit enter. This one is correct. List two is correct, and I'm gonna run calculate. Now here's my exponential regression. My general formula, y equals ab to the x. Here's my a value, my b value, and here's my r squared value. So exponential is 0 0.976. It's worse than linear, but I'm not done yet. I'm gonna run that third regression. So I go back to calc. Now I'm running a quadratic regression, number five. I hit enter. Again, I have my X's in list one, my Y's in list two, and I hit regression. This is quad reg, that's a quadratic regression. It is 0.997. Of my three R squared values, this one is the highest. This is my best fit regression line. So I write down the R squared values of all three that I ran. I take the one that is the best fit, and then now I copy down the general equation, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and then my specific equation is y equals a, 0 0.096, x squared plus b, 5.20, x plus c, negative 42.4. What I want to do to check how good of a regression that is, 
I could go to my data, just pick a single data point, plug it into that equation, take this value right here of say x, take 35, plug it in here, and see what y works out to be, and it should be close to 250. It won't be a perfect fit, because as I graph all of these data points, right, x and y, this is the line of best fit. So I have these data points, and then what I'm doing is I'm creating a line that fits them the best. I could do that with my plot, my scatter plot up here, but as well I think I'll do that on a separate video. So that's how you run multiple regressions on the TI-84. The closest R-squared value to one, the best fit regression. This is your general equation. This is your specific. And the whole point of this model is to figure out uh, future predictions. So now if you had a temp of 50 degrees or whatever it is, oh, it was a pretty hot day, what ice cream sales would look like. Thank you for watching.